beginning with the reason that I'm here tonight. Let me say something about the perceived disharmony between science and faith. Nearly six in 10 adults in the US say science and religion frequently conflict. Well, that was certainly my view as I was growing up in Virginia without much of a spiritual perspective, but falling in love with the scientific method. Faith seemed to me to be the antithesis of the rational scientific approach that I wanted to pursue. And so I migrated without much thought about it into agnosticism and ultimately atheism. But then I moved from quantum mechanics to medical school and the questions of the meaning of life and the reality of mortality were impossible to ignore. Science didn't help me much here. I was surrounded by patients and some of my professors for whom faith provided a way to wrestle with those profound questions. That was puzzling. Challenged by one of my patients to describe what I believed about God, I realized my atheism was dangerously thin. Seeking to prop this up, I began a journey to try to understand why intellectually sophisticated people could actually believe in God. And to my dismay, I found that atheism turned out to be the least rational of all the choices. To quote Chesterton, atheism is the most daring of all dogmas, for it is the assertion of a universal negative. Scientists aren't supposed to do that. Over a two-year period, with much help from wise mentors and the writings of C.S. Lewis, I slowly and rather reluctantly came to the conclusion that belief in God, while not possible to prove, was the most rational choice available. Furthermore, I saw in the very science that I so loved something that I had missed, the evidence that seemed to cry out for a creator. There is something instead of nothing. The universe had a beginning. It follows elegant mathematical laws. And those laws include a half dozen constants that have to have the exact value they do or there would be no possibility of anything interesting or complex in nature. God must be an amazing physicist and mathematician. But would he or she actually care about me? The major world religions seem to say yes, but why should I trust that? And then I met the person who not only claimed to know those answers and to know God, but to be God. That was Jesus Christ. I had thought he was a myth, but the historical evidence for his real existence was utterly compelling, including his life, his death, and yes, even this, his resurrection. And as the truth of the New Testament sank in, I realized I was called to make a decision. In my 27th year, I could simply not resist any longer. With some trepidation, I dealt, knelt in the dewy grass on an October morning somewhere in the Cascades, and I became a Christian. Friends in whom I confided my newfound faith predicted this would be short-lived. After all, I was by then a physician who was interested in studying genetics. Genetics means DNA. DNA means evolution. And by then, I was convinced that evolution was not only just a theory, it was supported by evidence that made it about as compelling as gravity. Surely, they said, my head would explode when the conflicts emerged. But that never happened. 